This is new at 8 o'clock. We're hearing from the New Hampshire ice cream shop owner where some ice cream was potentially sold with marijuana byproducts in it. Now, this incident sent multiple people to the hospital. The shop says it was an old batch from a previous owner. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Newmarket, New Hampshire tonight. And Christina, this may have been someone's personal batch that got left behind. Yeah, Chris, the way the owner explained it is that the person who actually made the ice cream claims it was supposed to be for his personal consumption. Now, the cafe closed early today, and the owners tell me they're hoping to open again tomorrow, but their nervous customers won't show up because of this investigation. We just are, like, so apologetic to the victims of what happened. Roots Cafe and catering owner Amber Enright is reeling, unsure of how her business will recover after at least four customers got sick last week. Whatever batch of ice cream I pulled out of the freezer um, was had THC in it. That batch was coffee Oreo, and several people who ate it, including a 16-year-old, ended up in the emergency room. Severe dizziness. Uh, extremely high blood pressure. Now, police and the FDA are investigating after each patient tested positive for high levels of THC. Remember, marijuana is still illegal in New Hampshire. No matter what side of the fence you're on, as far as marijuana goes, it's more concerning that they ordered one product and got something else. The catch? That ice cream was not made by the store's owners. It was the remaining ice cream Amber bought from the former business owner, Angelo Zamore. Amber and her husband are distraught about what this means for the business's future and want customers to know they have already switched to a new vendor. This is pretty awful because not only was it a minor, it was a minor's mother who's furious. Like, why wouldn't she be? Now, no charges have been filed in this case yet. We did reach out to the man who allegedly made the ice cream, but he did not return our request for comment. Live in Newmarket, New Hampshire, Christina Rex, WBZ News.